Hey everyone, how is it going? So today we are going to be having a little think about what could be in store for the future of chess. Now, I'm not just talking about Magnus and Hans finally making up, throwing an awesome party with Hikaru vomiting in the corner and Fabi pulling the sickest kickflip of all time. I'm talking more about what could be in store for chess in regards to how AI and things like that could be utilised. So, we're going to break it down into about four or five different topics and this is something I've been thinking about quite a lot recently. Ignore the fact that I'm currently wearing a hat indoors. I do not think I look cool. It's just I currently have an open head wound and I don't think the rest of the world needs to see that. It is like, it, it, it's gross. So <laughs> let's move on and let's get into it. So let's start with the most obvious and that is going to be much, much better chess engines. Now, chess engines like Stockfish and Alpha Zero, they currently use something called brute force analysis. This is essentially where it's looked at millions and millions and millions of games in the past and it looks at the current moves that you're making, the most probable moves that you're going to make in the future and the most probable moves that the opponent is going to make. It will then make a calculation and work out who is essentially going to be in the better position and what the best move from there is going to be. Now, with artificial intelligence, if it could be blended with the brute force precision of classical engines and then with the strategic analysis from artificial intelligence, the possibilities could be endless. And I'm not just talking about using the normal kinds of metrics. Now, it could potentially recognise deeper positional concepts such as long-term peace activity or dynamic compensation for material or even potentially develop new ways of evaluating positions beyond our standard metrics. Now, currently we use things like material count or peace square metrics. However, using a blending of the two tools, who knows what new ideas that it could come up with. And speaking of new ideas, consider what could be possible for opening theory. Right now, openings are essentially made from human trial and error. And these days with engines, we have a little bit more refinement which has come into it. However, with artificial intelligence, there's the potential for brand new open lines which have never been considered before. We could create fully optimised opening books without human bias. That would lead to completely novel new ways of playing, suggesting repertoires, improvements based on a player's style. So analysing your own personal style and then working out what would be great openings made just for you. Now, I always thought myself when it came to openings, because I love the English so much for white, that something like the Sicilian would be an absolutely perfect opening for me for black. However, I've found myself very much struggling with the Sicilian and I don't know why. Having something like an AI tool to look at my openings and work out what would be better or even just a, a better variation of the Sicilian could massively, massively benefit me. Now, following on from the openings, there's also the mid-games. While engines currently are pretty good when it comes to things like tactical play, they very much kind of struggle to explain positional play. In the middle game, AI may be able to develop new strategic things that humans have overlooked, identify the best plans in unclear, closed positions where brute force search is just a lot less effective, and potentially offer recommendations based on long-term peace mobility rather than short-term material gains. Personalised chess training. This is where I really believe that it would shine. Imagine having your own AI chess trainer who could analyse all of your games, adapt as your playstyle adapts and look at and analyse, you know, and tell you what would be the best openings for you to learn, parts of your game that you really could improve at. Now, I know there's things that can sort of do that. However, at the moment, it is very limited. And also, having your own personalised AI sparring partner. Now, I've played with plenty of programmes that have said that they can do this. However, current chess engines to play against, anyone who's played against them knows, they don't play human. And you'll be playing against something that'll be playing really, really well, and you'll be struggling. Then all of a sudden, it'll just make a really, really obscure bad move. 
move, especially kind of lower levels as well. I found this a lot when back when I was around the 1400s, 1500s, the computer would be playing really well and then all of a sudden it would just go in like you know, hang a horsey for no reason whatsoever, apart from to kind of balance the current ELO that it's playing at to give you that bit more of an advantage. With personalised AI sparring partner, it would play in an almost human-like way. It could play, you know, if you're playing more defensively, it could play more aggressively and vice versa. It could analyse how you're playing and then make the perfect partner to play against. And that would be absolutely incredible. Coming on from this, chess clones, and this is something that I think would be really, really interesting. Whereas currently chess.com has, you know, play against Magnus bot, play against Levy, Hikaru, whoever, whatever their bots are. Really, the way that it's programmed is just, you know, like, if a certain player plays, just, let's just say the Levy bot, it's probably going to open with something like the Karo Khan, if it's playing as black. Um, if a player currently is known as being an aggressive player, maybe it'll play a bit more aggressively or defensively. However, it's not really playing or mimicking the opponent. With real AI, it could analyze all of their thousands and thousands of games and genuinely be able to be essentially chess clones of themselves. And for grandmasters, imagine if they have a big game coming up and just say they know they're playing against Fabi. You could then have your own personalized Fabi to play against and practice against to get yourself ready for that tournament. Instant move feedback as well. Just imagine you're playing and instead of just saying if a move that you've made is good or bad, it could actually tell you why in simple terms and human terms why that move you've made is bad. That would be absolutely incredible. Instead of just like a little, you know, black and white bar which goes up and down, it could actually just explain to you fully why what you did was bad. Now, this would be absolutely incredible for beginner chess players, more intermediate. Even for advanced players, it could be great. Just having something that could explain the full creative thought process behind, you know, what would be a good move, what would be a bad move, why what you did was good or bad. There's just... It would be so beneficial. Chess courses as well, instead of following a static chess course. Now, I have a bunch of chess books, and I love chess books. I love working through each of the puzzles. However, instead of just following this static course where they do get a little bit long in the tooth after a while, having something that can shift dynamically and change it once again, based on how well it seems that you've grasped these core concepts, moving on, expanding them, moving on to the next concept or whatever, these personalised courses would be absolutely fantastic. Game commentary. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, when you're watching the World Chess Championship and you've got actual commentators there. I'm talking more, you know, like, if you go on Lee Chess, they have the live games where you can watch games which are currently in play between different GMs or IMs or whatever. And at the moment... You have that little bar that goes up and down and you have like the top four or five engine moves in the top right corner of, you know, how the game could play out. Having an actual AI commentator throughout these games, I think would be absolutely fantastic because... I'm alright at chess, you know, but even now I'll watch GM games and I don't really know what's going on half the time, you know. Outside of the, you know, the opening I'm okay, but outside of the opening. So I'll be sat there watching a game and I'll be like, alright, you know, like, if it was me, I would capture this with my bishop. And then the GM goes and makes a completely different move and I'm like, what? <laughs> why, why did you do that? Having an AI analysis tool who'd be able to look at that and once again just explain in human terms exactly what's going on, why they've done this, what the thought process is, would be really, really beneficial. That's just kind of quick one, but that's just one I was thinking about before uh, when I was watching some live games and I was just like, this would be a really cool little feature. Online play, cheating detection. Now, this is something that we all deal with. How many times on chess.com or Lee Chess have you had that message where it's like, oh, you've just been gifted a few ELO because someone you played against, it turns out they were cheating. Um, and it's really, really frustrating. However, there's games that I've played where I've known the person's been cheating. You know, I've looked and it's just, they've made 
too many perfect moves, too many moves that didn't quite feel human. Now, sometimes it is really obvious when someone's cheating. However, when people are using hybrid cheating techniques, that's where things get a little bit more tricky. You know, like if someone plays normally, they've played their human moves throughout. However, they get to a key position and they don't know what the best move to be was. And if they just grab out their phone, have a quick look. I mean, there's apps where you can just take a photo of the board and then it will analyze it and then just tell you what the best move from there would be. And if you use it just for those one or two moves there, it is very, very difficult for current detection software to work that out. With AI, there's the potential for a lot more of these cases to be picked up. And that would also be very interesting to see how many higher level players, top GMs, IMs, are actually cheating. Because at the moment, a lot of people do get caught. And a lot of people that, you know, definitely shouldn't be. I know no one should be. But, you know, like, rated players get caught relatively often. So if this amount of getting caught with what can currently be achieved, how many are actually cheating? And that would be something that would be very, very interesting to find out. I just think that there's... A lot that could be done in regards to making online chess a lot fairer. Because online chess, while it'll never fully replace, you know, over-the-board play, especially for big tournaments, online chess is here to stay, and it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And with larger prize money events, we need better detection software and much more robust anti-cheating measures. Another one that I think that would be fun, especially with, you know, everyone talking about freestyle chess at the moment, chess 960, Fisher Random, whatever you want to call it, is the invention of new chess variants, using the AI to make balanced variations of chess. Um, while, again, it's never going to overtake traditional chess, it was just for something that would be for a bit of fun. Um, as well as that, you know, personalised chess puzzles and, you know, just different things like that. Just fun little things that you can do, apart from main chess, just fun little bits and bobs that we can do on the side that are still chess related. Anyway, this is all just kind of something to think about. It's kind of mainly just a mixture of random shower thoughts that I've had about all of this stuff. So if there's anything that you would like to see or any cool ideas um, that you think that it could be useful, please do let me know below because I'm very, very interested in what people's thoughts are. Um, sorry I've not posted in a while, I've, uh, apart from having a, a, a head wound. I've just been ever so busy. Um, so uh, I am back. I'm you know, going to keep regularly posting. Um, if there's any openings, mid-games, end-game stuff that you want to see me cover, or any cool chess software, or anything like that you'd like to see me cover, please do let me know below. I'm more than happy to try and cover it. But as always, you dudes, go off, have some fun, play some chess, and um, peace out.